Uh, so your first action should be is to LA Aragon, if possible. And uh, to try to visualize Navarra, you need to ally it and have uh, plus 190 relations with it. Align protocol is a good idea, but um, you may need to break it later in the game uh, because you have a um, restoration of unions cast belly on particle and it's a good opportunity to take it with all, all of its colonies uh, as your rivals always choose morocco uh, if you can disinherit enrique on the first day but uh, in dlc for this uh, so uh, the other way is to make him general and send him to siege some fort or something like this and he'll have a um, higher chance to die. After you've done this, make as many real marriages as you can to gain a new hair fast. Uh, your priority should be uh, is to fulfill this mission. Remove focus from military mana. Aragon likes to uh, Claim our throne, but don't worry about it, they usually uh, don't enforce it. Uh, by the way, Aragon tries to uh, make Navarra its vessel too, uh, so you should try and visualize it first. Uh, you can use your money for this. Let's send some gift. You can stop this disaster, uh, but you can slow it down until you have a stable country and strong. Just ignore it for now. Uh, so, with the power of money, I managed uh, to get relations of Navarra uh, with me to 200. And now I can vassalize it before Aragon. Let's do it. So, I've uh, built my army and navy, so now we just need to wait uh, to, for for our manpower to refill. After you've built your army, uh, you should hire some advisors, specifically tip advisor and administrative advisor. Uh, so, we can complete this mission and gain claims on Grinder. And also because we made um, Navarra our vessel, we can complete this mission too. So just uh, call Aragon and Portugal if you write it in the war. Move your fleet here in Gibraltar. I know that it can be pretty difficult for beginners to deal with Morocco. If Morocco doesn't have uh, allies other than these nations, you can consider them as co belligerent. But if it has, then don't do this, just don't check this button. Now, it would be perfect if you could uh, take at least Tangier from this war and not give it to Portugal, because they like to take it. Uh, but if you're a beginner, just focus on Granda. You can take this later. So, if you have finished the siege here, you can move your armies to Morocco. Before you have an advantage. And also you can see other allies can help you. Uh, but your goal should be to take this province first. As you can see, we're just destroying Morocco. They're not that strong. That's why you should try to take this province as soon as you can. Try to take at least another province like this, or this, or this. Like, uh, basically try to take Morocco's coast. Don't worry about loans, uh, we'll pay them out after war. Hey guys, so Castilian civil war has triggered. Well, we are at war, it's pretty bad, but uh, still, it's not that bad, we are finishing. 
Okay, yeah. I recommend you to support Aragonese candidate. Let's start Morocco, I'll take 10 juice from it. Take other points if you can. One point less. Ignore this war until uh, Grant uh, agrees to your deal. Uh, by the way, don't forget to call these provinces. Uh, let's pass out to Nis 2. Uh, you can take some provinces from it. I'll take money because I don't need any provinces in this trade note, unfortunately. Now, now we can conquer Grand. I'll just take loans and hire free company because I don't have any men. So, civil war has finished. Uh, I have a bit of loans, but don't worry about them. Uh, Castile is a very rich country, you will pay them in no time. Now you need just to wait until you recover. And if you want, you can uh, wait until truce with Morocco ends, and you can just attack them once more. I know that my country is still pretty weak, but uh, I think it's perfect possibility to attack Morocco. Well, it's weakened, and basically it doesn't have allies. It's stripped of vessels, so uh, we can take some coastal provinces. This was pretty easy. So. I recommend you to release Vess, to not core uh, these two provinces and to save our administrative points. Uh, so I just took administrative technology 5 and uh, now I can choose exploration ideas. I've saved up for it. I can instantly hire colonizer. I recommend you to choose Natico Existence Policy. Now we need three ships. Okay, and we need to recruit Explorer. So now I can recruit an Explorer and send uh, this fleet to explore Africa and Americas. When you have enough Splendor, uh, choose uh, this as bonus. By the way, this is why it's uh, pretty difficult to out colonize Portugal in early game. Uh, so that's why Portugal is considered as the best colonizer. Your first province to colonize would be this, Cape Verde. Do it before Portugal. Uh, Portugal wants to break alliance with us, uh, but it's not that bad, because like I said, we uh, would do it anyway. I'll next Navarra. It would be perfect if you could hire advisor with colonial range as bonus. If you don't have him, you can just press this button, pay some money and change advisor. And maybe he will appear. I'm very happy right now because it's the best event in the entire game. And I've got it so early. If you've got it, uh, you can celebrate. You won the game. I don't know who in the same line would choose this one. Just uh, choose this option. Okay, now take this mission. Like, you, you may uh, not go to war with Portugal, but uh, you know, like, it's pretty bad idea because. Uh, it's very good colonizer. Uh, by the way, just uh, I want to warn you that sometimes this event might not trigger. It's pretty rare. Uh, also, guys, you need to know that uh, restoration of Union Casus Belli lasts for only uh, 25 years, uh, so you need to conquer Portugal as fast as you can. Like, 
the moment just ends, you need to go and make it your lesser partner in personal union. Don't forget to build your navy to prepare for war with England. Uh, build heavy, of course. Uh, build a flagship, of course. Uh, by the way, uh, buy uh, at least two cannons. So, truce with Portugal has ended. Uh, now, gather all your ships in one province. Now we can attack. Don't worry about England, it may seem that they are uh, st stronger than we are, but actually, AI is usually not that smart, so they'll sit on the island and won't interfere with our war. <laughs> Uh, so I've conquered uh, the whole Portugal, and now uh, you have two options what to do. Uh, first is to just wait uh, for a long time until England accepts to surrender and or Portugal over the first. And second option is uh, to try uh, and destroy their navies. Uh, they have an advantage, but they don't usually use their whole navy on one sea province. Uh, so you can just group your ships and uh, g try to beat them, but it's a bit more risky than waking tactic, but it's cheaper and it's faster, so let's try this. Like I said, they don't group their navy. Uh, like I said, uh, AI can be pretty um, stupid. But they just sit here. Uh, I don't know why, but it's better for us. Let's uh, kill this stack once more so they don't uh, get out of here. At least alive. Take some money from England. I need to say uh, two very important things. Uh, first is you need to take uh, the whole North Morocco from them. And second, it's uh, it would be better if you could take at least uh, one trade center like this. Our next target should be any province in the Caribbean trade node. Uh, to colonize it, by the way, you need uh, advice with colonial range, like I said in the beginning. So we have opportunity to hire another colonist. Let's do it. I like to assign them like this. Uh, one colonist colonize New World and other Africa. Uh, when you colonize Africa, you need to give priority to provinces with center of trade. Like Cape Coast. I recommend you to colonize Caribbean like this. So for example, you colonize one province on this island, then on this island, then on these islands, on this island. Uh, why should you do it? Uh, it's because colonial nations don't colonize provinces on other islands. I've tested it. So uh, they will colonize, for example, these islands if you have at least one province colonized here. But if you don't, then they would ignore it even if they have a colonizer and enough money. It don't forget to complete missions because they give you pretty powerful bonuses. And they're pretty easy. Start fabricating claims on Mexicans as soon as you can. If you have Origins DLC, I recommend you to take Cape immediately. Uh, because Kilva uh, has mission which grants them this province. And they won't transfer a trade uh, to Europe, unlike English, Dutch or French. Before this DLC, uh, you could ignore it, because usually all the European powers took it, 
and it flows just to Ivory Coast. But uh, this tip is outdated. Now you actually have to take it before Kilwa. Uh, reach administrative technology 10 as soon as you can. Because you can uh, form Spain. Adjust strength in garment. So what does this mean? Uh, this means that you can uh, annex Aragon for free. And you get very cool ideas. Yes, miss. If you reach uh, this idea, then we can have four colonizers. By the way, convert all of your uh, African colonies and Asian in the future uh, into trade companies. Uh, they're pretty good. I recommend you conquer in uh, Mexico as soon as you can. After expansion idea, take trade ideas. Got to say that you need to delete uh, Aragon's armies and fleet to stay under the force limit and not go bankrupt. So uh, I've took some provinces here in West Africa, uh, specifically Konka and this one, Jolov. Uh, you should conquer them too, especially this area, especially. Uh, but Congo is pretty good target too because it's pretty uh, weak and it's pretty profitable. Look, let's see. One, two, three, four trade centers in one war. I think it's pretty good. Our goal is to uh, reach Asia. Uh, by the way, remember to uh, look at your neighbors sometime because as you can see France uh, doesn't feel very good and we can conquer it if we want but I don't want to do it because like sad this is colonial game I don't focus on Europe I uh, forgot to tell you a um, pretty important thing about uh, Tar 5 reform if you are colonial power if you are colonial nation uh, take parliamentarism why? Uh, because it has like two bonuses that will help you immensely. It's this one, and there is another one which gives you one colonizer. Uh, now this is very important information. Uh, if you have gold provinces, you don't want to make them uh, trade companies. You need to call them and make them your states, uh, because if you make them trade companies, you won't have that much income from gold. Set Cuba as private enterprise. So uh, I've colonized this province here. And now we can reach Asia. Well, here it is. Um, uh, well, so basically you have two choices now. Either go to India or to East Indies. India, uh, it's uh, from my experience, it's always more difficult to take always well uh, because as you can see AI um, pretty often unifies it and yes you'll need to deal with this one uh, and East Indies is pretty easy it gives you a lot of traders but uh, of course it's not as profitable Here I think I'll conquer India, just because Vijayanagar is pretty weak right now, but uh, let's have at least one colonized province here, just for future. And uh, don't forget about Mexico, uh, because I think I can show you now, yep, there is a lot of gold here, and uh, if you have this Eldorado, uh, your colonial nation will send you golden fleets uh, which give you, if I'm not mistaken, the same amount of gold as from provinces here. So pretty big amount. 
Uh, and by the way, Colonial Nations AI is uh, almost always brain dead. I don't know why. Uh, so if you want to do anything, uh, if you want to conquer Mexico fast, uh, help help them at least with some small army because this war is already going for three years and they haven't uh, taken anything meaningful. Also, I need to warn you that you need to conquer Mexico slowly because I had one run where I took it like in 10 years and then uh, I just killed rebels for 50 because uh, colonial nations can't uh, handle them. Uh, just reminding that you shouldn't fear coalitions if you have a lot of troops. They should fear you. Like whole West Africa was in coalition against me, but now they left. And a uh, very funny thing, I don't know why, but for some reason uh, Portugal has pretender rebels every 10 years. Not even funny. Now very useful trick, uh, I wish someone told me earlier. And I was beginner, uh, so... To keep your colonial nation or any vessel loyal, you need to develop their provinces. Like, uh, let's choose some cheap province like this. One, two, three. They're loyal again. I've integrated Portugal. It's good. So, about trade. You can see my trade income here. It's not the great that I had, but still it's pretty big. You can even improve it. I transfer trade from Moluccas to Malacca, from Malacca to Cape Good Hope. Uh, but it would be even better if you transferred through Malacca to Bengal uh, to Coromandel. But as you can see, Either in Bengal and in Malacca, I have less than 50 trade power, and like uh, I, I I could even collect here, like it doesn't make a difference. So I took Coromandel, improved trade companies here. From Coromandel to Good Hope, yes. From Good Hope to uh, Ivory Coast, to Sevilla. Uh, so basically, uh, you want to try something new in trade. Uh, to get good in it, like, uh, for example, let's try transferring trade through Bengal to Coromandel. Trade 126, trade 115, so no, it's a bad idea. Let's leave it be. So yeah, like, basically like this, you uh, just learn how to do it without thinking, with experience. Of course, I conquered a lot here, as you can see. It's not that difficult, I'll just say it's pretty easy, you know. It's just uh, pretty expensive to kill rebels after this. And you won't have any administrative power after this, because of Corin. Yeah. You could take... <laughs> administrative idea and take this one like it may seem it may seem that for example beating bengal is pretty difficult right because you see there are a lot of troops here well it actually is but not that difficult like it's possible because it has military level 14 and i have military level 16 it's pretty big advantage also of course use Opportunities that you have, like that Vijay Nagar was pretty weak and I killed it, and it was granted by the Bengal, so I attacked it too, and it didn't go it allies. Of course, by trade company investments, it's mandatory to improve your trade here. Like, I didn't even conquer that much, but I have 41% of trade power, and honestly, Castile is pretty overpowered. And I forgot uh, about Golden Fleets, uh, which give us pretty big income too. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you, but it's like as this one every year. We could take France in our game, and even Great Britain. 
and we wouldn't have uh, any competitors at all but I know that it may be difficult for beginners forgot about ones yes they aren't bad like you can think uh, just make sure that you can paste them out later I've set full game with 10 loads and uh, as you can see I'm not bankrupt I'm pretty rich that's because if you're constantly expanding then loans aren't a bad thing and like I end this guide here but if you uh, want you can just conquer new lands get more trade but anyway uh, thank you for watching this guide I hope you liked it like this video and subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Goodbye.